All right, guys, so as y'all can see, what's right in front of me, we got the day cab right here. Hooked to a trailer, we bagged into a dock. Y'all already know what it is. Owned by my company. Y'all already know who we leased on to. Um, we doing the thing, man. Like I told y'all, um, a lot of y'all um, may have think or thought I've been a little distant, man, but I've just been trying to uh, focus on getting things in order. And sometimes, man, you gotta put 100% of your time and energy Especially if you want something as bad as, as I do. So, um, we got Super Ego finna try to blindside next to me. So, I can actually say I did my first blindside back in this truck, man. No issues. Um, would I do it again? Not really. Don't, don't really want to, but anyways, I'm just showing y'all the truck, man. Um, pulling his first load with me. It does need to be cleaned up. It was sitting at the shop for almost a month, man, the dealership. And um, finally got it back yesterday. I got another video coming out on the things that um, got fixed on it. Y'all already know the trailer, man. Ain't nothing changes on that. We gonna stick to the truck. So for y'all that don't know, the truck has a Cummins ISX, 400 horsepower, 10 speed. Um, this is a 2005 International 9200i. And um, I mean, hey, so far so good. Um, it drove over here fine, uh, no issues. Um, AC is blowing ice cold. Please don't hit my. Look at this. Look at how close this person is on the blind side, man. Talk about being close, like you're cutting it. Close, close. So if they go forward, more than likely they're going to hit my mirror. I'm going to crawl across. I want to watch the damage. No, well, they're going forward. Talk about a close call. That had my heart racing. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. There's two empty docks over here. More than likely, they're probably getting in dock three. I'll be trying it again. Let me get out the way. I'm not no backing expert, but I know for a fact I don't blindside back. At least I try not to. Well, the day cab, we got a back window, so we fine, right? All right, so once again, here's the truck. As y'all can see, this is the hub that I had sprayed down um, with the black paint. I still got to clean all this stuff up, man. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying it out for today. Uh, last minute load, called me at early, er, early this morning and hey, pretty much got up and walked outside because this truck actually park at home. So, you know, I keep Big Daddy and the trailer connected. And then this one right here, um, I'm pretty much driving home like it's my personal vehicle. So, um, no air leaks. Which I'm happy about, man. Um, airbags seem in decent condition. Um, they're not all dry rotted like um, the ones on Big Daddy. Um, the fifth wheel um, seems to be a newer fifth wheel. Another good thing. I replaced all the tires on here. There's only one tire that I left on here. And it might be this one. It's either this inner one or is the opposite side inner one. Well, it could be this one because this might be the only different tire on here. So we got um bridge, we got what is that two, four, six, seven matching bridge stones, then we got one different tire, then we got two brand new steers. Um, that's pretty much how I run my operation. I don't mind putting used tires on the back. I don't I won't put uh, recaps, but I will put used tires, you know, versions that you know I don't know what happened to them. Maybe they fixed them, passed them, I don't know. But here's the truck. Like I said, y'all already know how it's done. Right here, once again, that truck, this truck is owned by my company. Least on the AFC. Um, if y'all want, man, I can make a video about AFC. Um, really not trying to advertise for any company, man, but when you work for a company and you self dispatch, everything is on you. So, I mean, if you go to a self dispatch company, you can't make any money or it's not working for you. Um, it's probably something that you're not doing correctly, whether if you don't know how to self dispatch correctly, you're not giving yourself enough time on loads. Um, it's pretty much up to you to figure out what it is. So um, I still gotta go fuel this truck up. I still haven't filled it up. We are out. I actually got it when it had like a quarter tank of fuel in it. It's a little messy right now because like I said, it was kind of a last minute thing. They caught me on the load and I was like, hey, let me go take the day cab. So here it is. I got my little fan so I don't have to idle the truck. Y'all know how um, expensive diesel is. Um, y'all can see it's pretty much looked the same from the last time if y'all caught any of the last videos of this truck. Difference is I did get the glove box forward. Got it put in. Um, 
I do still got some more parts over here that I got to put in myself. I'm um, just taking my time. Y'all know I've been pretty much occupied with Big Daddy, but, you know, test speed. And that's pretty much it, man. Um, you know, we got the Blue Tiger up there chilling. So this is pretty much what's going on for the day. You know, obviously, if, any, if I have any issues with the truck, I'll bring it to y'all and let y'all know what it is. Um, this load right here is also supposed to be on the lighter side as well. So, um, you know, I believe it's supposed to be like 26,000 pounds, or at least is what the Raycon says. Um, like I said, I'm dropping this truck for a little while, test it out, make sure there's no issues, no kinks, and then we will be going ahead and put a driver in this truck. So, um, like I said, the good thing I do like about this truck, it is a little older, but it's not as old. And I mean, like all the dome lights and stuff work. When you open the door, the lights work. Uh, stuff like that don't work on, on my classic, on Big Daddy. All that stuff, that, that don't really work. But it also doesn't bother me at all. Um, so one thing I'm probably going to be changing out is this shifter. Um, it's in a real uncomfortable position. It's kind of too far back. Like I know the International Pro Stars, they have that curved shifter that it comes up right here, then it curves right here, then it comes up right here. To where it's more like in this area right here when you're trying to shift. That's what I would prefer. So I am going to change that out. Because like I said, it's a day cab. The seat can only go back so far, you know, so... I'm already back at the window at the, um, the wall. Can't go anymore. And um, as you can see, man, you got the actual back of the wall showing from the seat that's been rubbing up against, you know, I guess whoever didn't drove this truck before me or whatever. So, yeah, we got my fellow day cap brethren rolling out over there. I'm sitting here waiting to get loaded. Um, then we'll go ahead and this load is going eight miles up the road. So it's picking up closer from the last um, ride along. And then this load is going delivered to the same place. So like I said, you see day cab over there, he's doing a blind side back, man. Um, that's the good thing about having a day cab, man. You can fit in tighter spots and we got that back window. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it short right here. If you have any questions or concerns, drop it in the comment section below. If you wanna get in contact with me, you can send me an email at truckingwithbigdaddy at gmail.com. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.